The Thanksgiving break is just ahead. Are you ready, Indians? On today's broadcast, we'll have results from last week's speech and debate tournament. All this and more coming up on KFOI TV 15 News. Good morning, Fort Osage High School. I'm Amate Butte. And I'm Morgan Parsons. Today is Tuesday, November 26, 2013, and here are today's news and announcements. The Fort Osage and Caring Communities Giving Tree went up last week in the health room. They invite any student or faculty member to join them in helping provide gifts to families who are less fortunate. Please consider taking a tag off the tree and purchasing the items listed. Then, return your gifts unwrapped by December 13th to the school. Your support is appreciated. The Indian Speech and Debate Squad competed at Park Hill South High School last weekend. Riley Messer was a semifinalist in original oratory. Riley and I took fourth place in public forum debate. Congratulations, Indians. Creating illusions with art was a focus in Ms. Harm's intro to art class recently. Students have been learning to identify and use a range of values to create the illusion of form. They created an original artwork that communicates a message about nature. With Thanksgiving break coming up, we would like to remind you to get into reading by taking the Gateway Reader Challenge. Stop by the library before the break and check out one of these 15 books, including Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lena Taylor, Delirium by Lauren Oliver, and Divergent by Veronica Roth. All you have to do is read three books off the list of 15 to be eligible to vote for the 2014 Gateway Award winners. There are multiple copies of each book, so stop by the school's media center today and check out one. Remember, reading increases vocabulary, comprehension, and critical thinking skills, so get into a good book today. Now here's today's sports report. Congratulations to senior football player Nathan Iloilo for being named the Athlete of the Week for November 10th through the 16th. Nathan was nominated by Coach Ryan Schartz for his pick six in the Kearney game. Nathan is involved in teaching younger students in the Fort District about character through his involvement with Kids Congress. Congratulations, Nathan. Coming up on the Indian <laughs> basketball teams will open their seasons tonight at home against the Truman Patriots. The JV tips off at 5.30 and varsity at 7. When we get back from the break on Monday, the boys' freshman basketball team opens their season on the road at Winnetonka with a game time of 4 p.m. The girls' freshman basketball team begins the season on Monday as well by hosting Winnetonka at 5 p.m. Come out and support your Indians. That's all we have for you today. Get ready to show your spirit today at the assembly. Thanks for watching KFOI TV 15 News. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and a safe Thanksgiving holiday.